There are two reporting tools available to you within VersionDog. One is called the Report Client, and that one's application-based. The other one is called the Web Client, the one you see here, and this one is browser-based. Now both tools will give you pretty much the same detail of information, but in just a little different type of view. They give you the ability to generate reports on all sorts of details regarding the things you do or have within VersionDog. Let's take a high-level look starting with the web client. The web client allows us to see the audit trails of all the changes that we're making within the version dog system. You can see within this section here that it's reporting on our component changes. Now you can export this information if you want to. You can select just specific columns. We can do some global filters. We can also filter on these items within the columns themselves. Now you don't have to know our format for the timestamp. We will actually give you some helpers so that you can narrow down the searches that you need. Maybe you want to look at just specific components. We will provide a list of those here as well to make that search simpler. Maybe you want to take a look at details relating to your backup jobs. You can do that within this section here. You might want to start within the job statistics. You might want to look from the enterprise level. Maybe you want to dive down into specific areas of your plant. You can change your current state so that you can change the time frame that you're looking at. Let's say that you want to run a report on all your backup jobs from the previous night to see which ones were different. When you run that, you will see things like this is different. There's 11 of them. If you want to actually look at those 11 items, you can click here. Or you can click on the pie chart here and see that information. It'll take you to the job list, and then it'll filter out those items for you so you can investigate why those are coming up different. Here in the jobs list section, you can also export this information. You can do global filters, remove and add columns, and, and filter on this information as well. So let's go ahead and step into taking a look at the report client now. The report client, which is application based, gives us pretty much the same level of detail that we were seeing in the web client, just in a little bit different sort of view. We can select our time frame that we want to look at. We can look at the area within our project tree, whether we want to look at the enterprise as a whole or maybe dive down into specific areas of the plant. But once we set in some of our data here about the range and area that we want to look at, it'll provide us some results here on the right with the number counts. We can notice that during this time frame, we had 192 new components added, we had 31 that were deleted, and so on. If we want to actually see these detailed list of items, we can click here, and it'll show us a list of those items here. Again, we can sort and filter. We, we have all the same details we were seeing in the web client. We can export and print this information if we want to. If I want to look at the new components, I can click on it, and I'll see a list of those items here as well. Now, one unique feature about the report client or the web client is you can save your reports if you want to to come back to them later. There are numerous other features and functionality of both the web client and report client, but hopefully this quick video gives you an overview of some of the things that you can do.